This is Algebra 2, Unit 11, Lesson 3 on the unit circle. So the basis of trigonometry will be a very special circle known as the unit circle. It's simply a circle that has the center located at the origin and has a radius equal to one unit. So that's why it's called a unit circle. So what we're going to use this for is to help us figure out what the trig functions are going to be at different places on the circle at different angle measures. So we'll work on that in a minute. But let's figure out the values first of all. From our work with equations to circles, which the following would represent the equation of the unit circle. Well, if we remember, the center of a circle at the origin and a, and a radius is going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We learned that back in geometry. So if the radius is 1, this is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 squared, which is equal to 1. So that's going to be number 3. All right, now the next thing we need to look at are the special triangles that we learned back in geometry. It's been a while, so let's see if we can review how to do them. So we need to figure out the coordinate points that lie on the unit circle through the use of the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to use those special right triangles to do that. All right, so our first triangle is the 45-45 right triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. The two sides are equal, the two legs are equal, and the hypotenuse is going to be 1 in this case because we're going to use the unit circle. So what would be the value of x? Well, using Pythagorean theorem, it would be x squared plus x squared equals 1 squared. So that would be 2x squared is equal to 1, so x squared is equal to a half, and then we have to take the square root of 1 half. Okay, now, that square root of 1 half is awkward to work with because it's the square root of 1 over the square root of 2, which is 1 over the square root of 2. Um, we don't like leaving a radical in the denominator. We will be doing that in pre-calculus of um, rationalizing the denominator. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to multiply this to make this into a rational number. What would I have to multiply square root of 2 by to get it to be a whole number? Well, what if I multiplied it by the square root of 2? And since I do it in the denominator, I have to do it in the numerator. It's going to be the square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. So that gives me a rational number to do that. So that makes this value the square root of 2 over 2 and this value is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so then a 45-45 right triangle, the two legs are the square root of 2 over 2, the hypotenuse is 1. All right, the other kind of triangle that I have is the 30-60 right triangle, 30-60-90 right triangle, whose hypotenuse is equal to 1. So really what this is, is half of an equilateral triangle. So if I were to make this into an equilateral triangle, like this, okay, this altitude coming down will bisect the angle up here. That's where the 30 comes from because all the angles would be 60 degrees. Now, what would it do to the base down here? What would be the length of the shorter side of the right triangle? Well, if this is 1, this was 1, and this was 1, what would this be right here? It would be 1 half. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, if I wanted to find the length of this side right here, it would be, I'll call it x, leg squared, plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. At 1 half squared plus x squared equals 1. Well, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, plus x squared is equal to 1. Subtract the 1 fourth. 1 minus a fourth is a 3 fourths. And then I want to take the square root of both sides. And when you take the square root, it is the square root of 3 over the square root of 4, which is the square root of 3 over 2. So this side is actually going to be the square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so now that we know those values, we are going to apply them to the unit circle. All right, so what we're going to look at is the unit circle. This is the unit circle. We are going to fill in values, um, coordinate points at 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 50, 180, all the way around to get when you get back to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's fill in the coordinates that we know for sure right now. Okay, so for our unit circle that we have right here, um, the radius of all of these circles are going to be, all points in the circle is going to be 1. So where each of these lines is drawn, the radius is 1. Okay, so let's do the quadrant angles first of all. At 0 degrees, if the radius is 1, what is going to be the coordinate point right here at 0? Well, if the radius right here is 1, isn't that going to be the point 1, 0? Yeah. Okay, what would 90 degrees be? What would be the coordinate point right there? Well, you're at 0, and this would also be, the y-coordinate would be 1. What would 180 be? 
Well, from here to here is negative 1. And then it would be 0. And then the last one, down here at the bottom, 270, if this is, uh, the radius is still going to be 1, at 270, you're going to have, whoops, hit the wrong button, you're going to have 0, negative 1. So there is your points. Okay, so the quadrant angles we have, first of all. Now, the next thing we want to do is to deal with 30, 45, and 60. Those are the three angles in the first quadrant that we had. Now, those are based on the special triangles that we were just talking about. Okay, so the 30-degree angle, let's start with uh, this one right here, is yellow. I'll make it yellow so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. All right, now, if we apply our 30-degree triangle, which is the one we were just talking about, whoops, this one right here, okay, across from the 30-degree angle was 1 half, the hypotenuse is 1, and the next to it, uh, adjacent to it is square root of 3 over 2. So if I line the, that triangle up, here's the 30-degree angle from here to there, okay? Over here was 1 half, and then over here was the square root of 3 over 2. That's the yellow angle, or yellow triangle. Okay, so if I were to tell me the coordinate point for this right here, what would be the coordinate point? Well, I went over square root of 3 over 2 and up a half. So that would be the coordinate point right there for 30 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at 45 degrees. Okay, let me outline it so you can see which one I'm talking about. I'll do it in pink. All right, so there's the 45, uh, 45 right triangle. Okay, so there's the pink triangle. If I look at my reference triangle that I have here, 45, 45, the two legs are the square root of 2 over 2, and the hypotenuse is 1. So that means from here to here and here to here is the square root of 2 over 2. So the coordinate point is going to be the square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, over square root of 2 over 2, up square root of 2 over 2, because that's the 45 degree angle going to there. Okay, now the 60 degree. Let's take a look at the 60 degrees. All right, so I want to create the triangle. I'll do it in blue. All right, 60 degree triangle would be right here. There's that triangle that I have right there. Now, if I look at my reference triangle that I had for 60 degrees was right here. Across from it was the square root of 3 over 2, and adjacent to it is 1 half. Hypotenuse is 1. All right, so this would be the square root of 3 over 2, and then the blue one would be 1 half right here. So what would be my coordinate point? 1 half square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we have our first quadrant values. Let's take a look at our second quadrant. All right, now I want to look at uh, 120 degrees. Okay, now if we look at 120 degrees, how far away from 180 degrees is 120 degrees? It's 60 degrees away. So if we look at the 60 degree triangle right here, this is actually what's called a reference angle in the second quadrant. Uh, remember we talked a bit about reference angles when we were doing the angle terminology. So if I look at my reference angle right here, um, the reference angle is the distance from the x-axis to the angle that you want. So if this angle goes from here to here to get 120 degrees, the reference angle is the distance to the x-axis. So that has a reference angle of 60 degrees. So that is going to match the blue triangle that we just did. Because the measurement from here to here is 60 degrees. So that's going to be the same triangle as this one, just in the second quadrant. Now what happens in the second quadrant? Well, you are reflecting this triangle into the second quadrant. You're reflecting over the y-axis. So what happens to the coordinates? Well, the coordinates are going to negate the x and keep the y. So the distance from the blue triangle from here to here is 1 half, and from here to here is the square root of 3 over 2. So this becomes, actually this is negative 1 half, so this is going to be the point negative 1 half square root of 3 over 2. So we're just reflecting the blue triangle over here. Okay, now... 135 degrees. How far away from 180 degrees is that? Well, that is 45 degrees away from it. So if the 
angle is 135 degrees, it has a reference angle of 45 degrees. So the 45 degree triangle is the pink one. I would draw that right here. Here's my pink triangle. It's the same triangle just reflected in the uh, over the y-axis into the second quadrant. This is my reference angle of 45 degrees because the other side of it's 135. So that's going to mean this is the square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2 over here, but it's going to be negative square root of 2 over 2 because you're in the second quadrant. So 135 is negative square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Okay? And then 150 degrees? Well, 150 degrees going this way has a reference angle is how far away from 180 degrees? It's going to be your reference angle of 30 degrees. Yeah, so here's the 30 degree angle right here. There's the triangle. And you're reflecting it in the y-axis again. So it's going to be the same triangle over here, except this is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, and this is going to be 1 half. So your point is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, one half. Okay, so notice the values. These are the same triangles. We're using the reference triangles to figure out new angles. All right, so let's go through and see if we can do the third quadrant. All right, so for the third quadrant, we have 180 degrees and then we're going to 210 degrees. All right, now we said the reference angle is always the distance from the x-axis. So how far is it between 180 and 210 degrees? Well, that would be 30 degrees. So we have to use the reference angle of 30 degrees, which was the yellow angle right here. So we're going to take the yellow angle, and I'm going to use 30 degrees as my reference angle. And when I draw this in, whoops, there's the 30 degree angle, right, uh, 30 degree triangle right there. Okay, now when you go out this way, it's going to be negative, and this one's also going to be negative. So I'm actually going to reflect the yellow triangle in the x-axis. What does that change? Well, it keeps the x the same, but changes the y. So it's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. All right, so there's my value. Um, so this would be negative square root of 3 over 2. This would be negative 1 half because the reference angle is 30 degrees from there. Okay? Now, 180 to 225 degrees is a change of how many degrees? 45. All right, so I want to use my 45 reference angle, which is the pink one here. I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis, which is going to keep the x and change the y. So it's going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. So here is my triangle, the pink one. My reference angle is 45 degrees. So this is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. This is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. So that is going to be my coordinate point. All right, now 240 degrees. How far away from 180 is that? That's 60 degrees away. So I'm going to use my reference angle, which is the blue one. 60 degrees, all right. so. If that's my reference angle, it's going to be reflected over the x-axis. I'm going to negative one-half, and this is going to negate. So my blue triangle is going to be here. My reference angle is 45 degrees from there to there. So my 45 degrees, um, or excuse me, uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, not 45 degrees, because the 180 is 60, is going to be negative one-half, negative square root of three over two. Okay, so that is the first three quadrants, and we said that 270 would be zero, negative one. Let's see if we can figure out the last quadrant um, in the next class.